Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Education to Solve Technical Problems. Today we are going to install 4520 module C. It has the auto start function. We are installing this module in replacement of 7120. The 7120 was damaged due to rainwater. The 7120 module was not available in market, that's why we are using the 4520 module instead of using 7120. This is the damaged module, deep C 7120. Let's learn how to wire it. Looking at the back side of this module, you can see that number 1 is the negative of the battery, 2 is the positive of the battery. Number 3 is for emergency stop, number 4 is the output for the fuel supply number five is for self start number six is for battery charging charging alternator number seven is the earth point number eight nine and ten and eleven are the positive outputs these are user configurable positive outputs you can configure them These four are user configurable positive outputs. You can configure them through the settings. Number 12 and 13 are empty. 14 is also empty. 15 is again sensor common earth connected with the earth in engine block. Number 16 is oil pressure input. Number 17 is coolant temperature input. And number 18 is flexible sensor input. You can use it for fuel level or oil level. Number 19 is empty, number 20 is also empty, and 21 is also empty. 22 is magnetic pickup positive, 23 is magnetic pickup negative. Now, number 24 is for the shield of the shielded wire. You have used the shielded wire at number 24, 23, and 22, a common wire. The shield is Tighten at 24 or screen of the shielded wire. Number 25 is the can H point. Number 26 is also the can L point. Again, 27 is same the screen or the shield of the shielded wire used for can bus. Now on the upper side, there is 39 and 40, which is for the magnetic contactor or you can say the mains loading relay will be connected here which will operate our magnetic contactors 41 and 42 also for generator loading relay or generator magnetic contactors 43 44 45 these three are the phase output of our generator generator voltage 46 is neutral for our generator now next is our mains current 47, 48 and 49 are the phase of the main current, main voltage and 50 is the neutral. These are the connections for CT 51, 52 and 53. 54 is empty and 55 is common for the CTs or current transformers which will show the ampere on our display. Now the last grip 60, 61, 62 and 63. These four points are user configurable digital inputs. You can configure them from the settings like for remote start. Don't forget to use the screen cable for 22, 23, 24, the magnetic pickup and the CAN bus cables. Now we will turn on to the front side of this. Control panel, the deep C module 7120. That is the front of this panel. That is the water seal, rubber seal for saving it from water. Now, that is the front view of the panel. The red button on the front panel is for. Select stop mode. 
Next to it is select manual mode with the hand sign on it. Next is select test mode, then the auto button, and then mute the alarm button or test lamp. And the last one is to start the engine. We have started the engine manually. This button will transfer to main and this button will transfer to the generator with the help of magnetic contacts. So you can load, shift the load with the help of these two buttons. This button is used to increase the value when setting the parameters and this button is for the next page. This is for the previous page. To increase the value you will use upper button and to decrease the value you will use the lower button. Central button is for enter and these two are for previous and next page. This will enter the parameter. Save the value and press the stop reset button with this button to enter the parameter settings. Then in the next video we will discuss about the wiring of 4520. We have installed in place of this 7120. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe the channel for more videos like that.